The Israelites said evil in the eyes of the Lord. And God judged his people for it. And the evil that they did was simply to appease and to sink into the prevailing thought world from all around them. Some would say God should stand back and let them get on with it, not so he doesn't. He steps in and he judges that sort of thing. And he's called us to distinctiveness. It is for not a whole list of sins. It is for appeasement and assimilation that God here judges the Israelites. How do you avoid that? How do you avoid that? Because day after day, coming at us is a particular view of the world, right? And that's okay. It's fine. Tolerance. Of what? We need to be conscious, first of all, and this is conclusion, conscious of potential for drifting. Very few of God's people actually come into trouble when the pressure is on. They come into trouble by drifting. Assimilating and appeasing. The power of the pressure of the people around us is always incredibly powerful. Be conscious of that. Be conscious that we need to counter sucking up to the world's values. We're here to be sucking up to God and His values. What he says is right. Be conscious of that. Because the world that we live in is in rebellion against this God, although it doesn't look like that. These Israelites, you know, they didn't see their own faithlessness. We need to be conscious of that. How do we deal with it? We deal with it by self-watch. Watching ourselves. Keeping an eye on what we're thinking and where we're going with our, our minds and our actions. And keeping that in, in mind as we, as we read scripture. As we soak up again God's values. Because constantly we're sucking up the values of the people around us, the world around us, the Philistines and the Canaanites. It's constantly coming at us. They come to you. And we don't want to seem unreasonable or irrational or unpleasant or not friendly. The nasty people. Sam says they're the drawers, line and sound. Self watch and buddy watch. You can't do Christian living outside of Christian community. No, really, you can't. It's really difficult. It doesn't work very well. Because in Christian community, as we come together, we get a check on our thinking from one another. Quite often it's enough to come in amongst your Christian friends to think, oh, oh yeah, you've got to watch that. Because you're inside a different plausibility structure, you're inside a different way of thinking as soon as you come together. And we have a great desire, don't we, to be a missional outreach community, the community of the people of God. But we need to take time also for being the people of God. And that check that you have on one another. Well, I don't want to go on too long, so I'm going to stop, because that's about, that's about as far as I want to go on. But, can you see some of the issues here that underline the coming of Samson to be the leader of the people of God? The pressure of the world around you is such that it will form your thinking. Quietly, inobtrusively, slowly, you'll sink into it like sinking into a soft and strange bed. Was it memory form, isn't it? But then it will start to form and to shape and to sculpt you on the spine. According to the shape you've fallen into. And Samson comes as that one. That singular individual. That absolutely stunning character. And what he does is he points out what's happening. And sometimes we need Samson's to do that.